Hello, George. This is Matthew Robert Payne. And this is a personal prophecy for you. Uh, if you're tuning in on YouTube and just watching this prophecy, this is a standard prophecy. If you go to the description tag down below, uh, you can order a prophecy for yourself. Uh, if you're just tuning in to watch someone's personal prophecy, uh, this is just a regular prophecy. Um, if it speaks to you, that's a good thing. Just like uh, scriptures in the Bible 2,000 years ago can uh, speak to us, written to other people, but they apply to us. If something in George's prophecy applies to you, uh, take it on board and be encouraged by it. So, George, uh, just going to, I'm just going to uh, pray and uh, dedicate uh, this to the Lord. So, uh, dear Father, you're the one who understands uh, the beginning from the end. Uh, you're the under one that understands uh, George. Uh, you know every uh, part of him. Uh, you know his emotions. You know his shortfalls. You know his strengths. You know everything about him. So I ask that uh, you uh, use me today uh, to encourage him, to lift him up and to bless him. In Jesus' name I ask, amen. I see, uh, first of all, a snake, and uh, it's uh, it, it meets another snake, and the other snake fights with it and eats it, and uh, it's uh, similar to uh, what happened uh, in Moses' day. A sense that means that uh, there's opposition uh, coming uh, for you, uh, but um, you're going to uh, raise yourself up in the spirit of the Lord and uh, you're going to conquer the opposition just like a snake uh, swallowing another snake. I know that was uh, quite the graphic image. Uh, a sense that uh, the Holy Spirit uh, is uh, building uh, within you like a warrior spirit, a, a sense uh, if uh, you're not uh, prophetic already, that uh, God is going to uh, uh, introduce you to the prophetic and and uh, and raise you up uh, as like a warrior prophet. Uh, there's uh, people <coughs> who call themselves watchmen, uh, watchmen intercessors, and watchmen prophets, and a sense that uh, you were created. Uh, to be uh, one of them and uh, a sense that uh, the Holy Spirit uh, wants to uh, take complete uh, control over your life and uh, he wants you to uh, use the word of God uh, to, to discern what is true, what isn't, uh, what the warning signs are of false teaching and false prophets and false teachers sense that God is going to give you the grace to uh, use discernment in, in a wonderful way to uh, warn people away from certain teachers and certain schools of thought, certain doctrines that are coming into the church. And I sense that you're going to have a lot of grace about it. Uh, many people who are like... Um, Doctrine police uh, are really self, full of self pride and uh, uh, self righteousness, and they're really uh, prideful people. And uh, a sense that uh, you're going to be uh, someone who uh, uh, distills and judges doctrine and judges people, but you're going to have like a spirit of grace and love and understanding about you that uh, you'd be able to uh, present your case in such a way that the person propagating the error would be uh, humbled and repent and turn from their ways. And I see uh, that uh, God is going to raise you up as like a real uh, warrior uh, to uh, not only fight on the fight line, front line and uh, lead an army into victory, but also be able to capture 
uh, people on the enemy side and uh, rehabilitate them and turn them into leaders on the right side. And um, I sense that uh, you get a picture of that. Um, you've always uh, been a person of grace and, and love and compassion. Uh, you have deep understandings of people. Uh, you have, you've uh, experienced uh, the mind of Christ before. Uh, you, you can uh, think like Christ and behave like Christ and have the heart of Christ uh, for people. And uh, a sense that uh, God is going to raise you up uh, to be a powerful prophet who brings uh, protection uh, to the body of Christ where where this there is error being preached for you to preach the illuminating truth that breaks the backs and breaks the strongholds of the enemy's lies. Uh, I pray uh, that uh, God will uh, use you. I, I pray that uh, God will uh, raise you up in, in boldness and preparedness. And uh, I pray that the Lord would uh, thicken your skin as uh, people... Uh, throw darts and accusations at you. In Jesus' name I ask, amen. Uh, so uh, I uh, feel, uh, George, that uh, you're going to be uh, used uh, powerfully. Uh, there's a lot of preparation that goes into this. There's a lot of uh, studying uh, the word of God. There's a lot of practice uh, in speaking the word of God, speaking the very words of God prophetically. Uh, there's a lot of practice in doing personal prophecies. There's a lot of practice in uh, using the gift of discernment, uh, using scripture to discern truth from error. Um, there's a lot of practice in being a person of grace, a person of love, a person of understanding. Um, I really uh, think... Uh, that uh, you may even uh, build a website or a resource um, calling out the error in all the major teachers' uh, doctrines and explaining that this is error and uh, this person is a good person but don't believe uh, what they're saying here is not true. And this person is a good person and doing a remarkable ministry, but don't believe what they're saying here because they're saying this and this is actually the truth. And uh, that would be a major undertaking. I'm not sure if you'd earn money from it, um, but uh, I can see you uh, becoming like a doctrine uh, police uh, that's uh, full of love and compassion and a person that will be quite willing, quite able uh, to turn false teachers and false doctrines around. I pray that uh, you've been blessed by this prophetic word. Uh, I hope uh, that this has encouraged you and illuminated you and given you a revelation into who God wants you to be. I pray that, uh, I pray that uh, you will move into this area in years to come. God bless.